We recently started building a fairway around our putting green, and this week we were able to spread the seed. In our last video, we spread six cubic yards of a sand and topsoil mix all around the green to start making a fairway. And this week, we're gonna go in and try to get the seed spread out before the rain comes. To start off, I've gotta move the tractor out of the way because I'm finally gonna be able to use the 48 inch air fire that we bought three months ago. We haven't been able to use this yet because we've had a three month drought and the ground is like concrete, but the conditions are finally right, so we're gonna air up the tire one more time on the zero turn, and we're gonna back this thing up and get it hooked up. Once I've got it hooked up to the zero turn, we're gonna pull forward a few feet and then we're gonna get four cinder blocks out so we can add about 100 pounds of weight to press it down further into the ground. After that, we're gonna get some bungee cords out and we're gonna secure each individual block down to the air fire. And from there, it's time to head over to the fairway area and get started. Once I got this thing going, I could immediately see that it was working to perfection and plugging holes about two to three inches deep in the soil. I ran the air fire around the fairway about three to four different times so that we could get as many holes in the ground as possible so that when we seed, the seed would get down into the ground. All in all, I was very pleased with the air fire. It worked really well and got the job done and it was extremely easy to clean as well as all we had to do was use a hose for about three to four minutes to get this thing looking nearly brand new again. And as you can see here, the ground is chopped up really nice and ready for us to spread the seed. The next day we came back out and we loaded our spreaders into the gator and we headed on over the green where it was time to start getting the seed spread out. Due to the lack of rain, we had to sow the seed late in the season and therefore we went with a ryegrass which should grow all winter. And next year when the hot weather gets here and the rye dies out, our plan is to switch over to Bermuda grass. I started out by doing a lap around the entire outside of the fairway using the edge guard and then I turned it over to my assistant greenkeeper, Wilson, who took over from there. But after a few laps around the fairway, Wilson decided that a football game with little brother was a lot more fun, so he gave the spreader back to me, I put the edge guard back on, and I went around the edge of the green to try not to get any seed on the putting green. Next up, I got our landscape rake out and went around the entire green raking the seed into the soil, but also putting pressure on the rake so that I do a little bit of leveling as well. And I did not intend to do this around the entire fairway, but it was working really well and it's not that big of an area, so I just went ahead and did it instead of building a drag to pull behind the mower. Once I was done with the landscape rake, I did the exact same thing with a garden rake which really smoothed out the dirt.
Once finished with the raking, we did another round of seed and I started off with the drop spreader once again to try to keep the seed off of the green and then once I was done with the drop spreader, I dumped all of the leftover seed into the broadcast spreader and went around the entire fairway one more time. As hard as I tried to keep the seed off the green, we definitely had a little bit spill on, so I used the brush to just rake the edges of the green. And once done with that, we got the roller out and I went around the entire edge by hand to really flatten things out and make sure we get the seed down into the soil nice and tight. Once done with the edge, I took it back over to the zero turn mower and I took off the handle so I could hook this up to the mower and let Wilson drive all around the fairway to do the entire surface. And the final step of this project was to get the wheat straw out of the truck, head back over to the fairway, and cover all of the seed with a light coating of straw. We got finished just in time as the next day we had a couple hours of a nice gentle rain which should be perfect for getting the seed to germinate and if this seed reacts the same way the seed around the bunker did it should only take about 10 days to two weeks to have this entire fairway looking nice and green and by next april's masters week we should have the golf hole looking really really good and it should be a great view from our tee box 196 yards up the hill down to the green and the fairway. Thanks as always for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow along and we will see you soon.